Hey guys, Tyler from Brother Miami here, back with more of the X challenges, this time for volume two. And we'll start off, we'll do stage two here. Starting this one off, we have Storm Eagle from X1 and Storm Owl from X4. So far fighting on uh, Storm Eagle's territory. So I'm using Chameleon Sting, which is the weakness of Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle's easy enough without it, but it just makes it easy enough to beat him. And the nice thing about charging it is you become invincible for a little while, so I don't have to run around right now. The nice thing is just you, with the Chameleon Sting, you get, it goes, it's three shots going out. I don't have to be too worried. Uh, Storm Owl, I think his weakness is aiming laser, which you get from uh, Cyber Peacock in X4. This time I, I shouldn't jump there. Storm Owl's not hard, he's just, just annoying to hit with a low seal. Or he can fly up high like in this area. So it makes it hard for me to hit him. Helion Sting does help with that. Because I can do is jump and do that. That's what I should be doing. Ah, I want to hit him with the plasma shots. So I do more. Uh, at least this does hit him. Oh, your little double cyclones. Although not a bad weapon, not a great weapon, I find. An X4. I am pressing jump. Killed him off screen. Okay. Now, Spiral Pegasus from X5 and Neon Tiger from X3. Interesting combination. And we're fighting a Neon Tiger's domain or area. His weakness is Crush Cough. Fish this weapon, which is the one I'm using right now. Uh, Spiral Pegasus, I think, is uh, Dark Necrobat, the Time Hold weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and Tigers, you gotta remember, you gotta shoot it out. It shoots out front for you for, for like a, a feet, and then for like one foot, and then goes back to spinning blades. Charge it. Becomes like a little yo yo there. But I got to hit too quickly with it to hit the matter. Neon Tiger's a more of a pain. Spiral Pegasus is a pain. Don't get me wrong, but he's not as hard, I find. A little soul body technique there is annoying. I forget if in X5 if he's the one that gives uh, Zero the soul body move. Okay. I was going to say that should have been his last little flying move there. It's the weapon you get from him, the spiral cutter. I believe that's what it's called. I can't remember to be honest. Shooting these out because I know you can hit him while well, he's doing that. Okay, go fly into my blades, why don't you? <laughs> don't like when that works out. Not very often, but when it does, it's nice. 
Alrighty. Now we've got the end. We've got Spike Rose Red from X5 and Commander Yanmark from X6. And we're fighting in Commander Yanmark stage. I can't remember if Commander Yanmark is weak to the metal armor, which is what you get from Metal Shark player. But I just find because the chaosness of this battle, because you can just throw the anchors on and they stay for a while. If you do a charge shot, you get a bunch of Storm Eagles. Dive bombing on the stage. So you can hit both of them. Oops. Ah, let me go. Oh. When it lets me get off the... For X Challenge 2, they give you... If you don't have a sub, uh, sub weapon selected... I don't know, a sub weapon, a special weapon... Selected, you can pull up the Z Saber. Like you do, you get in X6, 7... Yeah, for X6. X has... It's okay. It's not really too handy in this fight, but I figured I'd make mention of it. So I forgot to mention it in the first stage. Uh, rotate till I get out. And go my metal arbors. Okay, good. Booyah! That was nice and easy. Did I beat my high score? Nope. That does not surprise me. Alrighty. See you guys next time from when I do stage 3. I'm Tyler from Brother Man and Gaming, signing off.